Gay Scouts might soon be allowed to join the Boy Scouts of America, but not gay scout leaders. That's the proposal from the Scouts Executive Committee. A final proposal is expected to be presented to the Boy Scouts voting members at its meeting in Dallas in May. Now, this comes after the Scouts backtracked from an idea to let local councils make their own decision. I want to talk about the proposed changes to the Boy Scouts policy now with John Stemberger. He is a former Eagle Scout and the founder of onmyhonor.net. It's a group opposed to uh, being openly gay in the Boy Scouts. And then he joins us from Orlando. And then Zach Walls is a founder of Scouts for Equality and the author of My Two Moms, Lessons of Love, Strength, and What Makes Family. He joins us from Los Angeles. So, John, let's start with you. Um, what do you think about the compromise proposal uh, put forward by the Scouts Executive Committee? I think it's an awful proposal, and it's going to destroy scouting as we know it, financially, socially, as a practical matter. You're going to see a mass exodus, literally hundreds of thousands of scouts. There's no way that the Latter-day Saints, the Catholics, the Baptists, the Methodists are going to do this. The, the new proposal requires every scouting unit foster open homosexuality amongst its boys, and that just disrespects the religious faiths and traditions of the vast majority of churches that sponsor these units. I think it's going to be an entire disaster. It'll transform well, scouting as we know it, and it'll, it'll be horrible. Before I go to you, Zach, so, John, what's the difference then be between um, scouts who are already there, scouts who are already in the Boy Scouts, including parents, including leaders who are already gay? What's the difference between them being openly gay and not openly gay? Well, that's a great question. Currently, there are uh, people in scouting with a same-sex attraction, both adults and young people. And there's not a witch hunt to find out who they are. But they're appropriate, uh, they're discreet, they're discerning, they're not loud and proud, they're not promoting uh, politics and human sexuality. And that's, that's the difference. The full participation is not good enough for the gay activists. They want to promote the gay agenda. And that's what's just inappropriate. It distracts from scouting's mission. And we say no sex in politics and scouting. And this proposal does just that. Yeah, Zach, there's a lot in what he said about being out and proud and, and about being appropriate right. and what have you, and I, and I see you are shaking your head. Go on. Sure. You know, I joined scouting when I was six years old. Uh, I was a kindergartner living in central Wisconsin who wanted to experience the great outdoors. After one year in the program, my mom, Jackie, became one of the den mothers in our scouting unit. Uh, she was an openly lesbian woman, and, you know, frankly, uh, like John said, she wasn't out and proud. She wasn't waving a rainbow flag around. But when people asked her what she did last weekend, you know, she wasn't going to say that she wasn't spending time with my other mom, Terry. And so when people try to say that this is about, you know, open or avowed homosexuality, that's really just a code word for the problem that they have with gay people. Being an open gay person is not a whole lot different from being a closeted gay person, uh, except for the fact that you have somebody trying to lie and violate the very first uh, part of the scout uh, law, which is that a scout is trustworthy. And so this policy of, you know, of discriminating, of keeping people out of the program, is not about keeping uh, people quiet or anything like that. It's about peeping, keeping people out of the program because of the problems that they have with gay people like my moms, Jackie and Terry. I, I totally disagree uh, with John, that. John, wh why, why are you shaking your head? Well, I mean, look, uh, th th this is it's, it's an insane policy. It is going to destroy scouting. And we hope that every delegate votes no on this resolution because it will literally destroy the program. Look, there was a two-year study done from 2010 to wait, 2012. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, and, hang on, hang on, John. There's a, there's a delay, but I, I, let me get in here. I don't understand. What do you mean it's going to destroy scouting? I am openly gay. I was a Boy Scout. I, I don't, I, what do you mean it's going to destroy scouting? At, at, as a practical matter, there's no way that the Catholic churches that sponsor these units they're forcing the LDS and Baptists and all these churches to take openly gay scouts and foster that in their program. There's no way they can do that in good faith with the values and the religious beliefs that they have. So it shows a real disrespect John, this is a really for 75% of the chattering, charting units that are actually supporting scouting. Those all, they're going to leave. I'm telling you, there's going to be hundreds of thousands of parents, scouts, and scoutmasters that will leave the program. If How do you know that? Goodness. I mean... Trust me, I'm telling you, look, look on the Facebook pages. You can talk to people, talk to the, the, the religious denominations. The Baptists said they're definitely going to leave if they strike the open and avowed homosexual clause. This is not about banning anyone from scouting. Okay. It's about banning gay activism in the program. Well, well it actually is about banning. Go ahead, Zach. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, Don, it absolutely is about banning people from scouting. It was the removal of Ryan Andresen, an openly gay youth in California, uh, who was denied his Eagle Award because he was an openly gay young man. It was about denying Jennifer Terrell, a lesbian den mother from Ohio, who just wanted to be a part of her son's scouting experience from the program. John can talk about this, however, he likes, but he can't change the reality, which is that under the current membership standard, parents like my mom's loving, caring, wise people who just want to be a part of their son's scouting experience are being barred from the program. Even under the new change, uh, that would be the case, and it will continue to make sure that people who are young gay men who are in the program know that the day you turn 18 years old, you are no longer fit to be a scout. That isn't what scouting is about. Scouting is not about kicking people out. It's not about trying to tell you, you know, what is or what is not appropriate in this kind of context. Scouting is about fostering leadership and, uh, you know, important life skills in young men. And this policy prevents scouting from truly living its mission. No. All right, Zach, look, John, thank you very much. Only, thank you very much. We appreciate it. That's going to have to be the end. We don't have thank time, you, John. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. All right.